Right. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim. This is Tony. We own Mantle Services LLC here in Traverse City. Auto Speak up. Auto Completer is our first product, so we'd like to talk to you guys about that today. Yeah, I'll try not to spend too much time doing a remedial lesson on what Auto Completers are. I think everybody here is tech savvy enough to know what an Auto Completer is. You know, go and start typing in and make suggestions. Um, it's a really great thing to have if you've got a dynamic web application because, you know, really, a, up. Sure. <laughs> really a drop down only works if you've got a few dozen suggestions. Anything bigger than like a list of United States states gets really unwieldy unwil in a drop down. So that's why you see auto completers are really, really great. But uh, from a development standpoint, they're kind of obnoxious to implement. Uh, there's a lot of open source tooling around that can help. Mm -hmm. But as your data grows, uh, you know, what worked when you had a uh, hundred things might not work when you have a hundred thousand things. Like, so you have all these growing pains and it's hard to do it the standardized way and it's hard to do it so that it works as well on mobile as it does on desktop. Uh, there's, there's all these pain points. And Jim and I have a long development background. We've done tons of auto-completer-ish implementations over the years for various projects. And it's, it's always one of those pain points. Uh, you spend too much time working on it. It's, it's something you have to do. And so when we needed to do our first, we you know, wanted to do our first product for Mantle, uh, we decided to do one focused on that, focused on developers to, to make their lives easier and cut costs for them. Right, so if you're a design shop and you know, your, your developers are struggling with you know, doing a technical limitation of an auto-suggest and you know, where they're not focusing on design elements and making the customers happy with the front end, we are a solution. So imagine if your auto-suggest could pull your data, you know, if you have a lot of clients or you know, those clients have, you know, like, a large warehouse, you know, a large inventory, whatever it is that has millions of rows or thousands or whatever, you don't have, you no longer have to worry about that. We do all the hosting, all the management, and we provide a consistent user experience across all devices. And you know, all that means time and money saved for you as a small development shop or design shop. <laughs> How do we do this? Uh, easy integration. Uh, we use our we built our own responsive um, component, but if not, you can use any popular uh, component of your choice, Jay Career, what have you. Use your findings also just a simple API call. It's very few, just a couple lines of code, boom, you got the suggestion to make a call. Easy management. We allow developers to you can manage and create various, it uh, doesn't matter what the size, you know, it's large or small your index is, you know, we can handle all of that. Robust suggestions, you can uh, fully utilize customizable criteria. And beyond just full text, and you know, we allow Boolean control to your hands and oars can be put there inside those few lines of those calls, making everything real simple for you. Skinny is your users will enjoy a solid, consistent experience, and developers will again spend their time on core functionality, making their customers happy, not having to worry about search and, and making sure that it's consistent and powerful. We bought a details 30 day free trial, it's a month to month subscription, we cancel any time. Our data is secure, the only power that powers your search, we silo everybody off into their own instance, and full data backup on every hour, every time. Our, uh, we have very few competitors in the space, and most of them charge for operations, things like inserts, updates, deletes, even reads and writes. We don't charge for anything except actual record count. We have the simplest, kind of simplest pricing in the scene. Like I said, there's only about three or four other companies that are doing this. So what you're looking at is what you see is what you get here. You know, very, very simple, straight to the point, no surprises. And this was really important to us because, like just said, a lot of our competitors, they have this pricing mechanism, but then it's also how many suggestions are you generating, how often are you updating the data, how many sort options do you want, how many fields do you want. It, if you're on a growth curve of any kind, it gets really hard to predict what your costs are going to be six months from now or nine months from now. And if you're looking to make an investment in technology, that really limits you. Yeah, you really want to keep this in mind. Yeah, sorts and uh, relevancy, all that stuff is extra cost for our competitors. Like I said, all you worry about is record count here. And uh, now we got a little demo. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do a very quick demo. Uh, like I said, I know everybody's seen this stuff before. So just a nice simple select. <clears throat> so this, what we like is this UI looks the same on desktop and mobile, whereas a lot of auto-completed UIs will drag off your screen on mobile. It's not a great experience. 
So you click, and you can search for your favorite album, and you get results. So tons more stuff on the demo page. Uh, check it out at autoconfigure.com and let us know what you think. So that's it. Now we're done. minutes of questions. Does anybody have questions for these guys? Are the searches themselves stored? Not the searches, no. We don't store uh, any information on, on what users are, are searching for. It's, it's really just there to, to give them their suggestions as fast as possible, no matter how big the data is. Okay. Alright, I assume you have some kind of API to populate Search is that how it works? That's correct, yeah. There, there's an API layer that will let you uh, insert and update data. Uh, because we are trying to be especially friendly maybe to uh, developers who don't have the expertise to build these kind of things necessarily, we, we also have a fully featured dashboard where you can go and create indexes. And uh, it actually runs through the API itself. So if you open up your developer console, you can see the API calls that we're making to create the indexes and change the fields and all those kinds of things. We really want to help people scaffold on to uh, being able to, to use that technology. Was this designed for public-facing sites or, or applications only, or, or do you talk into private entities or internal IT shops that are built? It's a great question. Uh, you could really do either. Uh, you, you get a public API key and a private API key. And so you could take your public API key and you could throw it, you know, embed it in your website that's public-facing and, and generate suggestions that way. Uh, if you had a more enterprise application where you had user authentication and maybe permissions and things like that, that's the background that you and I come from, actually. Right. Um, we have an example, actually, on the demo page of proxying the, uh, you know, using your system as a relay, basically. So the request would go from the end user to your system, then you'd send it to us, and then we'd send it back to you. Uh, and that way you can apply whatever sorts of controls and authentication you need before you ship us the, the request. And audits and everything. Yeah. So, so how long have you been doing this? Is this something that's so you're still in development, or is this fully released? And it's live. This is this is fully released as of uh, this weekend. <laughs> 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 but, uh, we have a deadline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a deadline. Yeah. It was great to have a deadline. Uh, <laughs> know, we've, we've been doing this for a very long time. Jim and I have been doing this together for the better part of like, almost exactly a decade. So. This is sort of a passion project for us because it's been a pain point in the past. Does it learn as you go to? It doesn't. There's all sorts of interesting things that we could do in the future with machine learning. And, you know, we, we have all sorts of ideas of how to expand it in the future. But you know, we, we're a small team and we're startups so and we really want to keep it focused uh, as much as possible for startups. Well, we have built a machine learner. It's true. <laughs> really? Would you say that you don't really? What's your competition in this? Um, uh, there's a few companies, Algolia in Paris, France, uh, Searchify and Searchblocks. Both of those, all three of those, are uh, focused primarily on large enterprise level customers and their pricing reflects that. You know, we want to go after smaller shops and, you know, kind of leave, like, they're leaving this whole, you know, um, market space behind. Mm -hmm. And so we want to go after them, you know, because, you know, we work in that same environment. You know, we, we were tasked with doing incredible things with zero budget, so we had to figure out a way to you know, minimize cost and maximize results. So you know, we, we know there's people out there that can make use of this, and uh, you know, <clears throat> and we're, we don't even think we're going to be cannibalizing them at all. You know, and, uh, and since there's so other few people that do it at all in this space, we have potential for I'd say, a pretty big growth. Are there weighted responses to? There is. There's a full featured weighting aspect of the API. There's an ordering aspect. Uh, I'm big on default configuration, so you can pass the a the suggestion API absolutely nothing. And it will still send you results back. Um, and then you can go crazy. You can do Boolean combinations, you can do range queries, ordering, waiting, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Is this something that could be like a turnkey competitor to a Apache <coughs> or Elasticsearch? It seems like it has some of the same uh, aspects of uh, Definitely a turnkey competitor to Elasticsearch, yeah. And I, I think our pricing is better, and I think our system is easier to use. Question? How long does it take to implement the code? Well, that, that's the great thing. Just... Okay. 
So I don't know if you're familiar with Angular directions at all, but once you've got your credentials, that's the code that drops that out of the page. We really, really want to make it as easy as possible. Do you want to